December 31st, 2021. It's the last day of the year. <laughs> we are taking Kyra out on a walk and we're gonna catch the last sunset of 2021. Woohoo! So, yeah. Tomorrow it will be January 1st, 2022. Brand new year. It's exciting. <laughs> So we're happy that the new year is gone, that this year is almost done. Uh, it's nice to take a moment and just to like remember like all the things that happened this year. It was a busy year, dude. Like even though I'm not the happiest with how 2021 went, um, there was a lot of things to remember, and it's nice to take a moment and just remind us of it. to do this before the sun dies okay so uh here's our recap of 2021 now i will say that the biggest thing starting the year was my brother's wedding on san agustin on wedding and um, it yeah. was a lot of fun very memorable um, and it was beautiful Adam I was having a ball March Leslie found a new job in a Colorado company called it's called Webroot but it's a uh, parent company is open text then we took a couple of climbing trips we went to uh, Alabama a couple of times Uh, we went climbing in sand rock it was really good dude like it was like <laughs> and we tried to climb misty which is like this 90 foot route and it's a sport route where you have to like clip your own clips and use you know uh, communication between the climber and the belayer and then uh we went to our favorite place uh we took a trip an early trip in april we went to yosemite Uh, it was pretty cool. It was like the first time that we see snow in Yosemite and like the, the waterfalls were like really raging. Uh, it was really amazing. But the best part of the trip was we got engaged. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. She said yes. <laughs> After all this time that we haven't been dating, like it was time to like get engaged. And May, May wasn't like a big, uh, busy month, uh, but we did take mom on a river trip, on a river boat trip. Uh, we took her to Wiki Watch. You ready for it? Yes. All right, let's go.
it was her first time going there, so I think she had a lot of fun. <laughs> July, we uh, had a wonderful celebration that we worked hard to plan together with Bill and Audrey um, at their home and they were able to put together the most wonderful party uh, where friends and family gathered and celebrated our engagement um, that happened in Yosemite. So September. What happened in September? We went back to Yosemite in San Francisco and this time it was with Bill and Audrey. So we went to Sausalito which we've never been before. Um, and then the next day we all met up in Yosemite Valley. How are you guys liking it? I like it. Got the best tour guide. Yes, we do. Um, and that was pretty amazing experience to share with them. Um, while we took engagement photos, we showed them the valley, went on a couple of hikes around Yosemite. That was really memorable. One of the coolest things of being in Yosemite is like Dude, for the first, we have, we've, by this time, it's our third time we've been in Yosemite. Uh, the first time we went hiking, the second time we went hiking, a little bit of bouldering and a little bit of engagement. Uh, <laughs> and for the third time, we like took Bill and Adri, we took some engagement pictures. But like the best part for me was like, we were, it was like our first time climbing in Yosemite, dude. It was like so cool. We climbed in this place. It was like four pitches long, so it was like 400 feet. We we hired this guy, and he like took us all the way up. And I never made a video about it. Like I never. It's just that I didn't took that many videos that day. I was more focused on like not dying and like trying to learn what we were doing. <laughs> it was really really fun, dude. It was <laughs> a lot of fun. That was really cool. It was probably the most adventurous thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, and I've yeah. jumped out of airplanes. So I have never. It was really cool. One other thing that happened in September is like this little girl you and I family. Ah, Guy Rock, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> she has been like an amazing, she has been like a ray of light in our house like Ever since the first day that she came out to the house, it's just been like non-stop. It's like there's always something new going on with her. <laughs> She's so in love with Leslie. I love you. It's Leslie's first puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and wouldn't have it any other way. Another thing that happened uh, this year, uh, it was like the first time also for Leslie. We went to New York for the first time. My job has like the opportunity for me to go working in New York and we decided like Leslie was gonna come because it was also her birthday. So for her birthday, she was like the first time in New York, so. Great birthday, and to top it all off, Lewis took me to a Broadway show, um, which was my first Broadway show, which was awesome. It was my favorite, Phantom of the Opera, and then we went out to this like rooftop bar to have dinner, and it was just really special. It was really good. <laughs> she got to explore the city. I was just working the whole day. It was the 30th birthday I've never had. Okay, so this one was like our major highlights throughout the year. Um, yeah. There was a lot of things that we do that also like we hang out with a lot of family, a lot of friends. So throughout the months, it's, it's nice to like always having those friends and those moments that we can always like get together and catch up and like see what we've been up to and what we haven't been doing. Uh, there's this kid just yelling. <laughs> he's having a good time. Yeah, he's having a really great time. Uh, we got to hang out with friends. We went climbing. We went in and doing a lot of stuff throughout the year. It was, it was really good. We went to pottery classes. I had a bunch of brunches that I like just loved and I just was such a foodie. Kyra met Astor uh, at Fabiano Renato's. Kyra met a lot of friends this year. Yeah. With, we also have two Christmas this year. We have like a Latin Christmas with my family. What do you call that? What is that? Noche? Noche Buena. We have like Noche Buena with my family. And we have like Christmas morning with Leslie's family. So, to Christmas, and there was a lot of gifts, dude. A lot, a lot of gifts. We were spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that happened this year, uh, which, um, like you guys know, I quit smoking. I mean, it's been like kind of like an upside down, but like I've been, I've been quit smoking. I haven't been smoking. Um, it's been tough. It haven't been easy. 
but I guess it's a good thing to remember during this year. And just like any other year, we're just like regular people. Like there's also things bad that happened during this year. Like for example, I got sick. It kind of like took a big part of like the second part of the year for me. Like just, I thought that I have like the worst thing that it could happen to somebody, but like, thank God it wasn't. Um, I scratched my car. Yeah, she scratched her car. There was a lot of things that happened during this year. And like, there's, even though I'm happy for the end of this year and like, I'm excited for the new one to start. We just wanted to take a moment and like think of like all the things that happened this year, whether they're good, whether they're bad. And even though we have scars that we're carrying on to 2022, we're so excited for the new year. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So from our family to your family, I hope you have a really good New Year's Eve and our best wishes to you in 2022. Bye. Every January 1st, we get a new book. Try something good this year. Eventually. We're going a place nearby the house to watch the fireworks and say goodbye to 2021. Let's go. Maybe it's much too early the game Ah, but I thought I'd ask you just the same What are you doing New Year's New Year's Eve Who's gonna be the one to hold you tight when it's exactly Twelve o'clock at night Welcoming in the new year's New year's Eve Maybe I'm crazy 